himself to swing it in from maybe a better angle. Benjani with a header. It's 2-0 to Manchester City. Benjani scores on his debut. We're almost up at half-time. And Manchester City are in absolute dreamland. It's the 149th Manchester derby at the end of the week when the Munich tragedy of 50 years ago has been commemorated. And it's marked today by both sides wearing replica retro kits from the past, just as the Busby Babes and their work could have done some 50 years ago. And it's going to be United to get the 149th Manchester derby underway. Black armbands as well for the players. And Manchester United say that they still like to play in the way and the tradition of the Busby Babes. Can City stop them and become the first side to win here this season? This is Ferdinand. Nani hitting it long. He's found uh, Ronaldo. Tevez was in there as well, and Richard Dunn with the clearance. And Michael Richards got caught in the midriff. Almost battle like from Carlos Tevez. And now you can hear the Manchester City supporters. Tevez, he's got past Richards, can he get a shot in? Good block by Richard Dunn, and it's a goal kick. He did enough. Carlos Tevez is claiming a corner kick. It's the referee, Howard Webb, deciding it's a goal kick. And there was a suggestion of offside, no flag. And John. Adams. Purcell. This is Petrov, he's had one shot. Thought about having another for a moment. Michael Ball looking to deliver in. He's done so. He's on target. Stephen Ireland, who has got a couple of goals this season, including the first one at, uh, a few weeks ago. Surrendered the uh, unbeaten home record then. And they've lost that. And they break their long hoodoo at Old Trafford. Benjani for Ireland. Intended for Petrov, it was cut out by Brown. But retrieved by Benjani. Petrov. No fancy go himself. Ireland's in there. Will it go in? Oh, what a save. It'll come in for Sal. It's 1 0 to Manchester City. 24 minutes gone. Manchester United 0. Manchester City 1. It's Darius for Sal with the goal. His fourth of the season. And those fans, the vast majority, will never have celebrated like they're celebrating now. It was a very, very quick break. It was Manchester United-esque in its execution. And Petrov, a key instigator, Ireland's initial shot saved. Then the second effort was also blocked by Van der Sar, but it's fallen straight back to Vassell. And Manchester City... They lead by a goal to nil. But Van der Sar didn't have a chance after he'd saved the first, but it had fallen straight to Darius for Sal. Scholes. Ferdinand. Scholes again. Ferdinand's continued his run forward. Tevez! What a save! What a save from Joe Hart. Tevez. It was a super strike. Superb save. Catch off again to deliver. Ready? Get off! Again, an air post by the now, right? Catch off to swing it in from maybe a better angle. Benjani with a header! It's 2-0 to Manchester City! Benjani scores on his debut! We're almost up at half time! And Manchester City are in absolute dreamland. It's Manchester United nil, Manchester City two, Darius Vassell and now Benjani. He didn't get the first touch, but when Petrov was able to swing it back in for the second time, 
has just gone straight past everybody after the big fella got the touch, flicking it backwards with his head, and Edwin van der Sar at full stretch, nowhere near it. City in absolute dreamland. Well, it's the first time in the Premier League that they've scored two goals at Old Trafford. Well, if Wes Brown had jumped up a little bit instead of ducking down, he might have uh, prevented that. It's Tevez, oh, having to go backwards to try to go forwards, Manchester United. Well, Shea was up there, Tevez is up there. And it's wide again, Richard Dunn once more to the rescue. And around these parts, they used to refer to Brian Robson as Captain Fantastic. But what description would be more apt than that for Richard Dunn today? Here's Park, we're in stoppage time. Scholes might open up here, it's a chance. We've got one back, Michael Carrick. Well, now, Michael Carrick pulls one back. A minute of stoppage time gone. Scholes giving him the ball back after it had been delivered from midfield from the substitutes. Last chance for Manchester United. It's time for a siege if they can lay one. Ronaldo makes the block, it drifts behind for a goal kick. And there won't be enough time, surely, now. Oh, there's Alec, his famous watch. A hard one for him to swallow this the significance of the day but Joe Hart's goal kick should be the final act Manchester City win at Old Trafford for the first time since 1974 and do the league double over United for the first time in even longer since 1970 handshakes all round it was a day that really was all about history but in the harsh currents that is the Barclays Premier League it's a huge win for Manchester City, a significant defeat for Manchester United and a result that will be looked upon with a warm smile by Arsene Wenger and Arsenal and also by Abraham Grant and Chelsea. The first half goals enough, Darius Purcell and Benjani on his debut. How can his City career ever get any better than this? And the 3,000 travelling supporters state a party as Alec Ferguson exits hastily, stage left. A late consolation by Michael Carrick, merely that. And for a club whose supporters have suffered so long and so often at the hands of their near neighbours, it is the sweetest of victories on what they term enemy turf. 50 years on from Munich, the city of Manchester has put on a show with an unexpected twist in the tail, Manchester United 1, Manchester City 2.